An Idaho woman in her 90s is telling her story about a time in her life she'll never forget. That story will now live on forever in the Library of Congress. Good morning, Idaho's Anna Silver has the story. The Warhawk Air Museum in Nampa works in conjunction with the Library of Congress for the Veterans History Project. All across the country, veteran stories are being recorded and preserved. The Warhawk Air Museum has been doing this for about 15 years and they just had their 1,000th interview. My grandma, Florence Mary Sandy, just told her story, but she is not a veteran. We were uh, sitting around and all of a sudden somebody said, Turn the radio on quick. The Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. Florence Mary Sandy was a freshman at the University of Washington living in her sorority house, Phi Mu, in 1941. A date which will live in infamy. She says President Roosevelt told everyone to turn out all of their lights on the West Coast. So we turned out all the lights and we sat in the dark and listening to the news. Florence Mary hasn't strayed too far from home. From Hagerman, Idaho, she was born in the house she lives in now. But that doesn't mean she hasn't had a lot of experiences in her life. It's hard to explain how we felt. We, we didn't know what was going to happen. We didn't know. We thought they would, everybody thought they were going to come right on and bomb Seattle. Florence Mary says men even came to the University of Washington campus for officers training. We were blacked out for four years, the whole four years, and all the men from campus went to war. And right across the bay from Seattle, there was a shipyard. They uh, trained there and they had their submarines and I uh, had the privilege of being invited to go through a submarine. They were so little. I couldn't believe how little they were, you know, for the men. Florence Mary enjoyed this walk down memory lane, but her memories don't belong to only her anymore. The Warhawk Air Museum in Nampa aims to capture and save memories of veterans. They're very important to, to preserve the truths of our American experiences during war. And the memories of civilians during times of war. Especially during World War II, the home front in America was vital to winning World War II. We couldn't have done it without the support of the home front. All of this information is then turned over to the Library of Congress. Florence Mary considers it quite an honor to have her experiences preserved for all to see. She says times were hard during World War II, but she wanted to do her part. The nurses had to go overseas. And that's why she decided to become a Red Cross nurse's aide. They just didn't have nurses to help the patients in the hospitals. They were very, very short. She also volunteered for another assignment that was a bit more fun. It was a canteen where the the soldiers and the uh, servicemen could come in and we had a jukebox and we danced with them and served them uh, soft drinks and ice cream and visited with them. At the USO in downtown Seattle, Florence Mary was a hostess and made friends with the servicemen. But it was still a time of war, so there were some unavoidable tragedies. He would call me and make, we were going to have a date. And then he would call me and said he had to go out to war or to fight. And this went on for several months. And then the last time he called me, he was shot down and he never came back. Florence Mary did move on and moved back to Hagerman, where she met and married the love of her life. But she'll never forget those years spent in Seattle. Many of the interviews conducted by the Warhawk Museum are available to watch on their website. If you or someone you know has a story to tell about a time of war, you can contact the Warhawk Museum to begin the application process. Just head to the story on sixonyourside.com for the links. Live in studio, Anna Silver, Good Morning Idaho. Mm, what a remarkable story. Oh, that's ah. amazing. Pretty amazing. All right, let's